welcome to today's vlog. So we have just got back from Justine's. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you'll know that we have attempted some Horse of the Year show qualifiers with Donnie this year and they didn't really go to plan. He was um, naughty for both the ride judges and he sort of like cow kicks, humps when they ask him for cancer. Um, and just he's just testing them and taking the mickey really. So um, I decided to stop doing the horse qualifiers because I don't want everyone to recognise him as that really naughty horse that bucks every time. Um, so we've kind of had, we're going to have this month of July sort of off showing um, and I want to fix it basically. So today we have been to Justine's yard and Justine and Charlie have ridden Donnie. So we will zoom you back in time and go back to earlier today when Justine and Charlie rode Donnie. So I arrived at Justine's and basically I got on Donnie and did what I'd usually do, like a 10 minute warm up. Justine kind of gave me a mini lesson. We had a walk, trot, canter around on him. And then Justine hopped on to have a play with him. Donnie has improved a lot, but he's still very, very unbalanced in the canter work, especially on the right rein. Um, I also find he takes a lot of shortened steps in the trot work and sort of rushes the trot a little bit. So this was really interesting to see Justine ride him and she got him really going forward off the leg and into the hand. So interestingly enough, we actually found that it's more the transition that really affects like the quality of um, his paces after. So when I was riding him, we basically did an exercise where I kept him on a circle, asked for the canter transition, and if we got a good transition, we did a couple of steps of a nice quality canter, and then we'd go back to trot. As when I got a rubbish transition, the canter was either like very um, unengaged, very sort of lollopy and on the forehand, or he was running. So it was very difficult to maintain Donnie in like a rhythmical and balanced canter just for a few steps, which was really interesting. So my homework is to practice lots and lots and lots of transitions rather than letting him um, canter round and round because I've been thinking, OK, he's unbalanced in the canter. And then I've been cantering him round and round and round when it was actually the quality of the transition that affected um his way of going so there you saw justine do the first canter transition and he didn't yeah. really hump with her too much but justine has got him going very forward off her leg which is good and she was just doing the exact same exercise just practicing the transition doing a few quality steps of canter oh see this is what he does you see a mild hump that time where he just finds it hard um, so he gives a bit of sass. But I love how up he is in the contact with Justine, as I think I let him on the forehand too much. Where Donnie needs to strengthen and hold himself and carry himself up, I kind of let him uh, fall on the forehand and lean on me a bit more. Yeah, and here you go. Justine backs up her leg with a whip and he gives a bit of sass, but she pushes him through. Um, and this is what he needs to learn that, you know, different riders are going to get on him. They're going to ask in different ways. They're going to use more leg. And he's yeah. going to have to get on with it. But he does go very beautifully for Justine, I think. But yeah, this is his good um, canter rain. And he definitely has a very nice quality canter with Justine. I definitely let him fall on too much and fall onto the forehand. Ha, ha, ha. 
you're teaching somebody and you'll say, don't let them rock. Yeah. You know? But he looks so much better when he sits up because yeah. then he's on his back end a lot more. And he's holding himself as he just wants to let you do all the work. You're right. effects he pulls doesn't he so he's very unbalanced yeah and that's why he's difficult to get into canter yeah and why he run, he's running and he pulls mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll just have a quick swap. Transition. So canter, trot, canter. We're knocking him out as well. <laughs> They've gone now, Don. They've gone. So this is Charlie, Justine's husband, and he used to be a jockey and he is the hunt master of the Nile Valley Bloodhounds. So Charlie also volunteered to have a ride on him just to see how Donnie would react with another different rider. Right, whenever you're ready. to one way yeah yeah <laughs> so as you can see when charlie asks for canter this is what donny does just like a little hump into the canter and charlie was brilliant for donny because he really kicked him on when he did it and then donny was like oh okay and then pushed through it um as when he had the last couple of ride judges well the very first one he did it and then they sort of put the handbrake on and then he did it more so yeah, this was fantastic that Charlie went, okay, you're gonna do that, go forwards. And, um, and do Donnie had the shock of his life, I think, but yeah, it was very good. The thing with Charlie is he's got very strong legs, but yeah. he's, not, he's not going to just clamp them on or kick. Yeah. So he, he struggles to carry himself, doesn't he? Can you see that then when he goes long? Yeah. Unless he went unless unless he went quicker, yeah. he would struggle to keep himself in the canter. Yeah. No right, just have a canter on the other rein. <laughs> you can have a go, but not that. <laughs> I think that says a lot. <laughs> you can have a go. <laughs> 
can have a go, but I wouldn't. That'd be very brave. Because he doesn't really respect fences that much. Just, just <laughs> have a car, isn't it? You are? Yeah, just have one canter on this rain. This rain is his worse rain. This is worse rain. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Now you're in trouble, Donny. Yeah, now trot and canter again. It's good transition though. No. No, wrong leg. No. Ask Charlie, ask on a corner, otherwise he'll go on the wrong leg. Right. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Well done, well done. Yeah, one more transition on this rain. No, wrong leg. Yes. Yeah, well done. Okay, and trot. He's off now. Yeah. Good boy. That was better. That was super. strong legs but because you don't you're not going to kick like a you know Charlotte was saying the people get on they just sort of kick him in the ribs and then he does that buck and then they pull and then he's like oh, I'll get away with it now yeah but that was good because you've got a good, you pushed him through it yeah as well <laughs> strong legs and actually you've got a better canter um good boy it's funny when you let go of the Right, he's head on the floor. Yeah, right? yeah. He's good at the stretching uh, dressage because you just let go and he goes, <laughs> but it's a show you want him up. He's Especially if you just. to carry himself. Yeah. Um, he's got, I think he's knackered now. <laughs> but I would say, yeah. We should do that again. Yeah, definitely. That right. would, that's really good for him. Thank Bye, Charlie. Guys. Thank you. I was able to keep that leg on yeah. without losing him in front. Yes. Um, and I would say he needs to to really work on the straightness on the right way. Yeah. Um, so lots of off the edge. Yeah. You know, riding two metres off the edge, mm -hmm. straight line. Yeah. And keep doing lots of that. Yeah. And when you get a canter, you know, if you just don't do little bits, but canter slightly off the edge, straight yeah. line. Yeah. You think about the straightness. And I think the more and then as well, oh the other exercise in walk and trot and trot is bring him in on a small circle and push him out. Bring yeah. him in and push him out. Done. So that he bends around your inside leg more. Yes, definitely. Because on this right rein he doesn't bend as much. No. So on the left rein he feels nice yeah. and balanced. Yeah. On this rein he doesn't bend around the inside leg. And then everything is conspiring against you to get a good solid canter. Yeah. Um, so really work on the straightness. 
and lots of you know he's just got to be a bit sharper off the leg yeah so lots of transitions um and you know don't be afraid to just you know so come on a bit more off the leg yeah you know back it up use your voice yeah back it up with a stick if you have to um rather than rely on the spurs because if they're not going to rely on the spurs we've got to get him a bit more yeah you know thinking you know use your voice so spud's just having his daily exercise <laughs> he's having his daily exercise in the school um yeah we had a really successful trip i was so happy that both charlie and justine rode him it did him the world of good and um highlighted so many things that i need to work on especially the canter work i mean it is frustrating and a bit a bit disheartening because we've been working on the canter what feels like forever but you know it is what it is it will take as long as it's going to take i mean everyone takes longer to learn things so it's the same for horses and hopefully Donny will keep improving and we're going to get hopefully Justine and Charlie are going to do the same next week and ride him again it's just brilliant for him to have lots of different riders on him so then when we do get the ride judges on he's hopefully more used to other riders and their way of asking him to go into canter but yeah I'm really happy with him we're just gonna finish his exercise I'm gonna do a bit with Finley oh Phelan's kicking off there he is <laughs> Yeah, and I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. So, yeah, I'll see you all next week. Bye.